In this video, we'll be discussing about the epinephrine signaling pathway, which regulates glucose metabolism. The signaling molecule in this pathway is the epinephrine hormone, and the receptor for this is beta adrenergic receptor, which is a type of GPCR protein. And this GPCR in turn regulates the stimulatory G protein known as GS. And the second messenger for the transduction of signal involves the cyclic AMP, which mediates the signal further. Here in this diagram, we have the cell which is having beta adrenergic receptor in its membrane, which belongs to GPCR family of proteins. And to it, an inactive to trimeric G proteins are bound as G alpha, G beta, and G gamma. And here in this diagram, we have the G alpha protein having GDP bound. Then looking at the right, we have the adenyl cyclase in the membrane, which is the class 3 adenyl cyclase. Now let's initiate the signaling pathway. We know the signaling molecule for this pathway is the epinephrine. It comes in and binds with the beta adrenergic receptor as shown in the diagram. And then upon binding, we have the transformational change in the GPCR domain with which the GTP bound with the G-alpha protein is replaced by GTP as shown in the animation. And this process is mediated by GEF that's gaunosine nucleotide exchange factor. So the binding of GTP with G-alpha subunit drives the activation of G-protein. And this subunit that is G-alpha disassociates from rest of the G-protein. Then from here it leaves and binds with the adenyl cyclase as shown in the animation. Upon binding with the adenyl cyclase, the adenyl cyclase is activated, which mediates the conversion of ATP to cyclic AMP. And these CAMP molecules then attaches with the inactive form of protein kinase A to its regulatory subunits and renders the catalytic subunits of PKA active. Now this active PKA or active protein kinase A in the form of catalytic subunits drives the activation of different enzymes. Like first of all, we have the inactive phosphorylase kinase. We see here the active form of PKA acts upon it and we get the active phosphorylase kinase. And then this phosphorylase kinase acts upon the inactive glycogen phosphorylase enzyme and makes it active. And finally in the end, this glycogen phosphorylase acts upon glycogen and mediates the breakdown of glycogen into glucose 1-phosphate which is used in metabolism later on in different pathways. So this is how epinephrine mediates the signaling in order to regulate the glucose metabolism. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.